The last time we had maintenance dredging was a little over a year ago, and that is fairly standard for this port. Port of Palm Beach engineer Ronald Coddington says it's a constant battle to maintain a depth of 35 feet in the Lake Worth Inlet. We just dredged a couple of months ago for emergency dredging about six weeks ago. And in the time between our emergency dredging and now, just from the big north swells, we had somewhere between 10 and 15,000 cubic yards of sand enter into our channel. Coddington explains why the sand keeps building up in the harbor channel. Partially because of the high sand flow in this area and the fact that we're sticking out in the ocean. The eastern rocks of the North Jetty are the furthest eastern point in the state of Florida. This year's maintenance dredging was conducted by a hopper dredge. The dredge out of Falai is actually a pretty interesting dredge. She's a 1980 built dredge, about 200 feet long. She has uh, twin 1,500 horsepower engines, and when she's loaded, she's carrying about 1,300 cubic yards of sand. So we were up in the pilot house of the Atchafalaya. Sean Moriarty is a port engineer and quality control manager with Cashman, the contracting company assigned by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Moriarty says in the pilot house, one crew member controls the equipment used to suction and pump the sand, while the mate controls where the vessel is at all times. You know, we have lots of screens up to be able to tell them lots of information of how much water, how, how quickly the water move, is moving out of the pipe, um, exactly where they are. So we use GPS positioning to be able to show exactly where the vessel is um, so that the crew members can target where the material is and dig effectively. This time around, they need to remove at least 60,000 cubic yards of sand. This is what's used to suck up the sand from the inlet. Think of the drag arm as a big vacuum. It goes down and it just sucks up. Um, with water in the material, it's a big vacuum and sucks it all up and places it into the hopper. Once the hopper is full, they'll turn back around, they'll come to the same location. Where it anchors to this barge to keep the dredge from moving. You can see the sand down in the hopper and they're getting ready to pump off the material. Um, so underneath all the sand, there's little doors that will open up and it'll mix with the water to create what's called a slurry. And those go out through a pipe down the center and all the way out to what's on the bow. Most forward bow connects to a pipeline that goes to the beach. Replenishing the north side of Palm Beach while at the same time protecting our sea turtles. Now we are out of turtle season, so the dredge can pump to the beach and provide beach restoration for the town of Palm Beach. During the emergency dredging, we were in turtle nesting season, so instead of placing sand on the beach, we dumped the sand in an offshore disposal area uh, south of the South Jetty where it will enter the sand transport and eventually work its way down the beaches. There's also equipment used during dredging, like a turtle deflector that prevents turtles from being injured. Preserving coral reefs are also a top priority. This is a very clean, compatible uh, dredging, but the turbidity monitoring requirements are still in effect to make sure that the dredge isn't stirring up silt or suspended sediments in the water that would affect our near shore coral reefs. The $3.5 million project was funded and monitored by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. When they're finished dredging, they'll have 39 feet of water minimum in the outer channel and 37 feet controlling depth in the inner channel. The extra dredging should allow for shoaling in the near future, something we have no control over but affects our local economy. The sugar barges, when they have to load light, can cost them as much as an extra $100,000 in lost revenue when we have to have draft restrictions. So the, keeping these draft restrictions out is most important for our sugar industry, the deeper draft vessels, and there are other tenants who use the full depth of our channel. Reporting from the Port of Palm Beach, I'm Yaremi Farinas.